Hello everyone. So we have begun working on building our quail coop and our quail run. It's taken a little longer than we thought it would, but isn't that kind of how everything goes? So I'm gonna go show you what we have started working on and what we're going to continue to work on. The first bit was built by the garden volunteer team on one of our Saturday garden volunteer days. And we put in like the main posts and began the right wall um, structure. And that was the most difficult part. And part that I really wanted to make sure we were doing properly because we are building on a slope. And building on a slope is harder than building on a flat ground. And while I do enjoy math, math with angles and slopes and cutting and all of that makes me a little nervous. So I was very thankful to have some parent volunteers who are comfortable with that to help us. All right, let me go show you what's okay, going on. So here we are approaching our quail coop run situation. To put it in perspective, our gazebo is here, greenhouse here, the rest of the garden goes and there's the front gate. So you can see we're up at the very top of the hill. Let's start out by talking about this yellow guy. So this is the actual coop. This is where we have our, our nesting boxes. This is gonna be filled with um, comfortable straw, bedding, you know, shredded paper, and the quail will be able to lay their eggs in these boxes and shelter from the rain. We painted it yellow, very cute. We are going to finish this top with some roofing like the other side has to protect it from the weather. We wanted to incorporate this existing uh, pallet kind of structure because it was already, you know, fastened into the ground and was basically a free wall. So we are having this um, wall will end up connecting by a roof to this guy over here. We had to dig these very deep holes. Can you see this? It's probably about a foot and a half down. Oh, hi, Crick. And we put these four by four posts into it, into the ground, buried them. One there, 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 and there's a fourth over there. So our fifth one will go here to make the door. We had to cut these four by fours at just a slight angle so that because the ground isn't level and we are on a slope, the angle of the top of these four by fours had to match the slope of the ground, which was part of the uh, reason why I was very thankful that there were people who understand that kind of thing to help. We have fastened this top beam, which is gonna help support the whole roof structure. And we are putting footers which are boards that are gonna go along the bottom of this to hold the gopher wire that we will eventually put in and to also protect from predators coming in. There will be gopher wire that will attach the bottom here and go under the ground like a little skirt and there will be gopher wire that goes up to the top here and all the way across. We're also going to be fastening a middle bar here just for extra support and extra support of the gopher wire. This will be the right side wall. Coming on over to the front area. This will again be wall until here. This will be the main door area. You'll walk in and have all this room. We're going to have to attach some two by fours on this back just to meet the height of this this is about six feet tall whereas this is only about four feet so two and a half ish uh, posts will be nailed or screwed on from here and then we'll have a sloping roof going to it this whole thing will be enclosed so the quail will be able to run out here in this whenever they want to but they won't be able to come out into the garden hey guys so I'm working on this quail coop we're putting in that mid bar, show you in a second. And I just, I had to show you because I need you guys to understand that grown ups make mistakes. 
but we just gotta laugh about it, right? We just gotta laugh. And <laughs> I just needed to share this with all my all my buddies. So okay. today I like got these, you know, bottom bars screwed on. I got this mid bar so that we could put the gopher wire on. I was so proud of myself because this is a 10 foot beam and I had to like balance it. And, but then, <laughs> then I realized <laughs> Guys, I screwed my ladder into <laughs> the coil coop. <laughs> it's stuck. <sighs> oh, I think it's gonna be a fine, easy fix, but just know, just know that you guys didn't screw your ladder into your quail coop today, so you're doing great. Okay, so the quail coop minus the little snafu with the uh, ladder is starting to take shape. So let me show you what I have done today so far. I'm gonna continue working on this this afternoon, but look. From down here, you can now start to kind of see, it's gonna be this kind of room. Here's where the roof is going. You're gonna be walking in with a little door right there. This is where we have to put one more of these four by four posts. But as we come around, yay, look at that. So the kids this week are going to be working on two projects. One of them is a cooking project, and then the other is going to be putting the gopher wire, stapling it to this, um, which is going to be really exciting. So I got to work on this back beam. I accidentally screwed that one in too high, and it's right behind the coop. So it's kind of hard to get in between these two little pieces of wood, but I can do it with someone else's help easily. And then I'm just gonna pop on a, a last one here and get that last beam across and then we can put on the roof. The roof is just going to be gopher wire. There's not gonna be anything protecting them from the rain because we already have this massive tree. So it doesn't get too flooded here. Also, it's on a slope. So it will pretty much never flood here. And if the quail want to go inside, they can go into their little hut there. I'm so excited about how this is turning out. Eventually, one of the things we want to build is a quail tractor. And I'm going to insert some pictures here of chicken tractors, but we're going to be using them for the quail. The quail tractor is basically just a mobile coop. So one that we can put them in and move around the garden. So when we want them to, you know, poop and fertilize certain areas of the garden, we can put them in the, chick the, the quail tractor, move them to a certain spot. They'll, you know, scratch up the ground, poop in it. It'll fertilize, they'll eat bugs like slugs and pincher bugs that aren't necessarily great for our veggies and they will have a chance to kind of move around the garden without we escaping. We're going to have every classroom have at least one quail that is kind of theirs. Now, obviously the quail are staying in this coop, but that means that they will be able to name the quail and identify the quail and, you know, maybe track measurements and growth and we can weigh the quail and see how they're doing. You know, is this one laying? Is that one not laying? And, and kind of track um, scientifically what's going on with our quail. The hope is to have about 18 total quail. Now they will all be female, so they'll all be egg laying, which is really exciting, because then we can eat the eggs and sell the eggs to kind of raise money for the school garden. Before I end this video, I want to give you one last quick update on where we are since the last time I filmed. We've got a door, ladies and gentlemen, and these and thems. We got a door. So this guy latches just like this. We are still working on, we're gonna be working this week on putting the gopher wire over the top. It's kind of tricky. It's gonna be some, it's gonna be not perfect and that's okay. That's kind of how everything I do is and that's fine with me. Kids are gonna be working on stapling that up there. The woodwork is finished. So the final things we're doing is just this gopher wire on the top the back and the front. And then eventually we're also gonna be doing uh, a gopher wire skirt, which means it's gonna be stapled to this footer and under the ground so that 
animals can't really dig under it. 